talked about the criteria for recruitment, uh, i.e. height, the stretch bags, uh, the tattoos. What do you make of it? You know, when I saw that, it came back to the conversations that we had about Rastafarianism. And sometimes I have this sense that as a nation, we have multiple rules and regulations for particular sets of individuals. We have seen people in military style uniform or police style uniform who have tattoos, who have beards, who have ponytails. So where are these people coming from? Who recruited them into those services? Or are there secret rules that we don't know? Maybe I don't have a problem if rules are applied consistently over time. Institutions develop their own internal cultures that they project to the wider populace that then gets respect, trust, and then collaboration and cooperation. But when citizens feel that the rules and regulations governing the institutional cultures themselves are fiddled with, undermined and thrown away when it sues particular situations and particular interest groups. Then I begin to shudder and to wonder, A, about the survivability of those institutions themselves. If I were we to do a random sampling and you put your camera around to some of these institutions, I'm sure you will see some very interesting things. Mm. Okay, so the rules are there, but over time, they've been undermined, they've been put aside, so that the institutional ethos, the culture that must drive institutional and individual behavior is no more existent. Mm. So the rules are there, yes. They, but as to thus being shot, limit your capacity to do the analysis. I'm not a particularly tall man, so should an educational institution have turned me down for the job that I am doing? And that's why it's a resounding no. Okay. Um, so, Mamadi, I think your question is so, so, so important. How do we uphold the principles and the values? inherent in institutional cultures. But is it, is it time? <laughs> is it time to review, to scrap these, uh, you know, I mean, what, what's the point? I'm, I'm shot, There's and no so point. what? I mean, it's a digital no era. <laughs> no, I stammer. So does that make me a bad officer in the Ghana Armed Forces? Because I stammer what the world customs have said no? Because I stammer, will immigration have said no? Will that have, or will the National Intelligence Bureau have said no because I stammer? No. There are fundamental issues that we need to be tackling as a nation. And certainly being short, having rasta, stammering, uh, having a tattoo does not contribute to the effectiveness or otherwise of institutional performance. I know they will say, oh, but there are rules and regulations and therefore we are a hierarchical institution. Yes, they use the rules. Mm. But mm. when that same hierarchical institution is incapable of using the established rules over time, consistently, in an objective manner, then I think the rules mean very little.